Mr. Wolf, how many little tips does it take to get to the center of an old demon, old blood, whatever? Wait, old blood is from shit. <laughs> old blood's from Witcher. I'm talking about Witcher. That's a mistake. I'm just gonna take the shortcut through here because I'm already in the. I've already played through this little chunk. I have to restart the zone because I went to the uh, Yosefka's clinic without reaching any of the bonfires in the area. So I'm just gonna run straight into town. Anyone chasing me? I'll deal with him. Howdy, y'all. That didn't stun you at all. Ow! Ow! Rude! Give me the back. There we go. Kinda was hoping on visceraling him. Oh well. We uh... And now we're in the middle of town, taking some damage. We, we went up to the left last time, to the dog kennel area. That's how we got to the area. The secret area. Not much else to do around there, though, so I'm just gonna take this path. There's a pit you can fall down. That no one else is dumb enough to walk into, I don't think. Ah. Uh -huh. I was kind of hoping to trigger it. And as I go through this area, it's full of stuff that'll burn me. So just all of my favorite things. There we go. Three hit vertical combo. Guess that taken care of. This guy's coming after me. Yeah, that, that vertical combo's fantastic. It's slow enough, though, that it does open you up to a lot of attacks. You want to fall in the hole, buddy? He's not going to fall in the hole. Why aren't you a team player? Alright, no one else is noticing me right now. We definitely have to run through here. Because this is the area where they throw firebombs at me, and the ground's covered in oil. And these are terrible things to mix with each other. The fun thing is that when you're having trouble with the forest, which I did a lot during the previous playthrough, you get a lot of free... just like that, you get a lot of free souls. Because everyone, uh... They keep... oops, that was not a visceral. You get a lot of free souls here because they uh, throw firebombs at you, but they miss because you're f moving so fast. And then all those guys chasing you get hit by firebombs, like even that guy did. Is anyone chasing me? They're shooting at me. I want to go through here because I know there's shards. And this door opens up a shortcut back into town so you can avoid the oil. But I always forget about it because I would run. I ran through that oil every time I had to run through here because... If you watched my original playthrough, I died in that forest a lot. I may have taken out the boss on my first try, but I died a ton just going through the forest because there's so many enemies in there that can hurt you. There's so many hazards. This area, similarly, gives you some gives you uh, some free blood as you go through it because this dumb cannon shoots at things that have people in them, I think. Oh, not this time. Oh, God. Okay, he caught up with me faster than I thought he would. Dodge backwards. Give us some, give us some, a little bit of a distance here. There we go. Anyone else chasing, chasing me up here? By the way, yes, we are gonna do that thing that I didn't do last time. That's right up there. I'm not passing it up this time. Last time I took care of them the easy way, but obviously, if we're gonna do additional playthroughs, I should try other methods. That, that guy's guarding an item. I should go after him. I want to pick out. I want to pick up some of the stuff that's on the ground everywhere, just because some of it could be upgrade items. There we go. That was some masterful... That was some relatively masterful use of my weapon's exact, uh, length. Ah, oh, it's beast pellets. Never used beast pellets, really. Basically, beast pellets, uh... They fill up a meter, and you have to keep attacking while, while the meter's active in order to keep your beast meter up, and then it basically gives you a damage bonus the more frenzied your attacking is, if you can keep it up. But, uh... It's kind of hard to keep attacking in this game when you're often trying to dodge attacks and everything. Uh, there's a beast weapon you can get from the chalice dungeons that uh that greatly amplifies that effect as it makes it I think it makes it easier to keep your meter up but uh that involves that's a little problematic because it requires you to uh hey snake man you have to get that weapon in the first place and I don't know if the weapon's actually a good weapon or not hey snake man how you doing I'm just gonna hit you in the head oh god Okay, so mistakes were made is what happened there. I, uh... First of all, I was not expecting him to do that much damage, holy shit. But, uh... I tried to follow up with an attack, but my power attack uses all my, uh, meter. Oh, not that time. I guess I just set myself up to fail before. Okie dokie. I don't think this area has... I'm trying to remember, I don't think there's a single bonfire in the forest, is there? Don't you have to walk all the way there from the beginning? Anyway... Uh... 
I feel like I want to do something before I try this. I think there's a shortcut I can open. I think it's over here. I hope. Yeah, it's up there, right? That's the elevator that goes back to the bonfire that I started at. Cause, oh yeah, there's one bonfire in the forest, the one at the very, very beginning. And I think that straight ahead... Oh, that's out of range. I think up on that ledge is the uh, elevator I can open and open up. Because what I'm about to do could very well kill me. Cool, I got my, all my health back from that kill. And since it could kill me, I'd like to have the shortcut active. This is a, a shortcut I missed in my original playthrough that would have been handy. Da 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 da! Elevator number two, or number one, I guess. I found elevator number two, the one that bring, let, lets you out by the, uh... I found the elevator that lets you out by the Firefly Shrine. But not the one that's right here. ka -ching. That brings you straight to the lamp at the beginning. Which is where I just came from. This is handy, because then if I die doing what I'm about to do, I can skip the entire villager raid scenario. It's really a bummer that I didn't find this the first time around, because, uh... It is definitely time-consuming to run through that whole area on the way back to the, the forest. I guess I'll send it up. So it's waiting for me if I need it. Since I'm unlikely to actually use the elevator from down here. Any bad guys around here? Just want this item. Cool, more twin shards. Need to get chunks, though. But yeah, this is the zone where I'll get a ton of twin shards, and then I'll quickly get some of my weapons uh, through that tier. And the level one, the the starter level shards are easy enough to just acquire via blood if I really want to. They're, they're one insight or like 2,000 blood echoes, so I could easily get all my weapons past tier one that way if I want. Is this the right spot? Special item waits ahead. Oh, this is where I fight a wolf, isn't it? I'm trying to keep all this straight in my head. What drops down there? That's just death. That's someone's- that's someone falling off. Is he gonna roll off or something? Oh, he had an idea and it didn't go to come to fruition. I hope I'm going the right way. I could've make- I could've gotten mixed up. Hey, buddy. Yep. In the butt. In the butt. In your butt. Hit him back! Okay, cool. I thought he was about to get that- that blow off. Oh, right, I think I have to go through the middle of the structure via that. Yeah. Is there anything over here? I think I have to go through here first. Yeah, I remember- I think I remember this being where you get the cannon. I think. It's funny, it's all the stuff that you do once. Like, I have all the paths memorized that, that involve anything related to, like, me dying and stuff like that. And having to run through again, but stuff I did once. That's a little foggier. So there's a poison knife, and down there, I think, is the cannon, which I don't need to grab because I already have one. So... This will be interesting to see how I pull this off, and right down there, as you can see, is, uh... The cannon, the, that's where that guy shot at me with the cannon, I came into the structure in the first place. It's weird. That ladder was really tall, which you wouldn't expect it to be, because I didn't feel like I went down that much. But I apparently went down enough to warrant that huge ladder to get back up to this slightly higher position. Hello, very suspicious man. Whoa! Blimey, don't scare me like that. On a night like this, I took you for a monster. Oh, thank the stars, you're fairly normal. Was it you who put down that awful beast? Ooh, that thing had me trembling, frozen in my boots. And then you came along. Well, if you're a hunter, then would you know of any safe havens? Oh, yeah, of course not. I should have known. This whole place is falling apart once again. It's the curse of Yarnum. Oh, you again. You find any nice, cosy places to hole up in? Nope, so there's no further discussion to have. Oh, yeah, of course not. This whole place, it's the curse. All right, he's got nothing else to say. So, he's clearly killed these people and was eating them when I walked up. This is the least... He's trying to play it off so hilariously, but it's not working. Uh, what happens is I sent him to Yosefka's clinic last time because I was suspicious and was fairly convinced that the people were dying there. And so I just found 
he turned into one of those weird blobby alien creatures and was dist- and just was disposed of. If you send him to the chapel, uh, Odin Chapel, which I might do next playthrough. If I do another playthrough, I don't know if I will do a third one. That might be a little overkill. But if I did, I'd probably send him there just to show you guys. Uh, what he'll do is he'll kill an NPC the moment he shows up. I think the first one he kills is the uh, skeptical man, the guy that was that goes to the opposite location that you did, the guy that's, that doesn't like me. <laughs> well, the man is enough specification, actually, from the people there. He'll kill that guy, and when you talk to him, he'll give you a reward. And then every time you kill a boss from there, I believe, he'll kill another NPC from there. And every time, he'll give you a different item afterwards when you talk to him until he just disappears. And you can also fight him there. But if you fight him here, or send him to Yosef's clinic, or just don't tell him to go to the chapel, uh, then you don't have to deal with him. But, obviously, I have to. Do, it's time to do the other option from what I did last time. Uh, I've heard this guy might be tough. We'll see how it goes. Oh, he didn't change yet. He's very forgiving. <laughs> Uh oh. Have you got a screw loose? Or is it your animal intuition? You hunters have got more blood on your hands. Ow. Oh shit. Damage is happening. There's a way to cheese this fight, but I'm trying not to. Oh, he went around, went around me. Shit. Shit. Oh, crap. Damage is happening. Ow. This guy hurts. He's a beast, so he should be vulnerable to fire. Ow. Okay. Come on. Ah, oh, crap, 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 crap. Wow, he has like a weird Hadouken. <laughs> Uh-oh. Don't get caught. Shit. Back off. Alright. Horizontal swing. Oh! Careful. Oh, crap. Crap. Quick heal. Uh oh. Oh, we both we both miss each other somehow. Alright. Well he's sufficiently creepy. I was on the right path, but yeah, that can go bad fast because of the damage output he has. But now I have a shortcut. Oh, he's still here and he's still in beast he goes right into beast form on site. Hey, buddy. Nope. How you doing? Yep. Try to get behind him. Oh, shit. Unsuccessful. Teleport. Oh, crap. Crap. I'm not getting behind him successfully. Alright. Come on. Come on. My hands are all sweaty. <laughs> it's a problem. It's a bad position to fight him in over there. Oh. He's hugging the cliffs in a way that's problematic, trying to get behind him. Oh crap, I went in front of him instead of behind him. I re dodged the wrong way. Crap. Crap, I dodged early! <sighs> I'm fucking this all up, okay. Uh, what am I- God. I can't- shit, I, cu I couldn't see that time. I'm completely- Failing to dodge. Holy shit. Really? Alright, this time I'm gonna quiet down and see if that helps me concentrate, because I'm having some trouble here.
extra phase is tough. Yeah, it's, it's a totally new moveset to learn, so this is like fighting a new boss, basically. Alright, attempt number four, here we go. Come on, buddy. Just need to get these dodges down. Oh, oh crap, I meant to be on, on my small my small sword, because it's faster. Shit, there's some damage. Oh, his reach is weird. Crap. Backhand. He's got such weirdly long reach. Come on. Oh, went for some free hits, almost died. Careful. Oh. Come on. Come on. No! He's surprisingly evasive. Come on. Come on. This is intense. Die! 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 Hunters are killers! Nothing less! Are you call me a beast? A beast? What would you know? I didn't ask for this. Dodge. Huh. Oh shit. That's new. Ha ha ha. Huh. Oh shit. Shit. No. Uh, oh shit. Oh shit. No. Huh. No. Dodge. Oh shit. Careful, 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 careful. Oh fuck. Dodge. Get him. Fancy beasts of the last one of us. It's just such an intense fight against a short, uh character with big reach on a small roof and such damage. <laughs> Holy shit. Alright. Well, I lost... I have actually have less souls than I started with because I, so, I lost so much blood uh, from dying on the way here in one of my return trips, unfortunately. But that's fine. The main thing was just to get the fight done. And it's done. Actual new content. Don't, there's not a lot of that to experience uh, left, so it's good to get some of that done. Unfortunately... I'm on a pretty tight schedule for recording today, so this is going to be it for the episode. Thanks for watching like always, and I'll see you next time. Uh, I wasn't really planning on getting stuck on him for that long, and I'm actually basically out of time to record today, so sorry about the short episode. I'll see you guys next time, where we're going to... Oh, let's get to that shortcut real quick. Ow. I'm, uh, next episode, we'll go through the Forbidden Forest and take out the uh, Shadow of Yarnum, I'm sure.